But first, they are the cornerstones, the identities of most communities. So making changes to schools usually does not come without controversy in Barberton. They are not closing buildings, but changing how classes are split between them. Right now, the two elementary schools both house kindergarten through fourth grade, but next year, one will become a primary school for K through second, the other an intermediate school for third, fourth, and fifth. The middle school will go with sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. School leaders say that will help students academically. But News 5's Jay Jarvis spoke to parents on both sides of the plan, and some are worried about location and transportation. It's a decision. I think it's a fantastic idea um, on many levels. Causing division in the city of Barberton. I just feel like there are way too many unanswered questions. Barberton School Board just approved what's called the Great Level Consolidation Project Plan. It means Barberton East Elementary will become an intermediate school for all of the city's third through fifth graders. West Elementary will only have kindergartners through second grade, and the middle school will only have sixth through eighth graders. It will strengthen students from grade level to grade level, so uh, the students will be more on track, um, things will be taught more consistent, moving from grade level to grade level. Barberton City School Superintendent Jeff Ramnitz says this plan has been in the works for three years and will address students' academic and social-emotional needs while also allowing same-grade teachers to collaborate under one roof. I think the benefits of all of it truly outweigh any negatives. Some parents, like Emily Cunningham, think it's a great idea, especially for her fourth grade son, who would have had to go to Barberton Middle School next year. It's just not the right point for them developmentally to be with eighth graders. So that, to me, really impacts us and my family the most. But others, like Erin Lepley. And every parent I talked to said that they said no to this consolidation. So how did it pass? think the plan is unnecessary and will put a strain on parents and kids like her son who was in the third grade and now has to attend a new school. We live um, on the very, very east side of town to then bust my kid to the very, very west side of town for what, you know, to have almost a 20 minute, 20 to 25 minute bus ride. Both filled out a survey about the plan the district sent out several months ago. While Cunningham feels her voice was heard, Lepley does not. Ramnett says he's open to speaking with any parents who have concerns, but he believes the new plan is the right move. We know that change is hard for some, um, but th there's a lot of positives. The, the positives out outweigh the, uh, the negatives geographically. In Barberton, Jay Jarvis, News 5.